This is a JG with another video of my home theater and uh, um, I just upgraded this poster. Uh, I took Avengers Infinity poster or I think it was Endgame poster off and changed it out with the original uh, poster. Um, I know a lot of people like my uh, wall wall vinyl in my restroom here so I wanted to show that again um, that it's all theater related and actually someone told me <laughs> And I wasn't even thinking of this, but someone told me when you come in this restroom and you have to use the restroom that you don't have to carry in a newspaper. You just look at my wall. Now, I wasn't thinking of that when I laid, laid this vinyl when I did this wall. But yeah, the wall is all old theaters and drive-ins and... Um, stuff like that. Got pictures of the Walk of Fame. Uh, you know, um, got got pictures of old theaters and drive-ins and all that. And then my light here, um, my picture that lights up is uh, like a restaurant drive-in. And you just, uh, that was a thing, I guess, in the 40s and 50s, all the way up into the 60s. And then they kind of faded out. I guess some of them are still around if you look for them, uh, maybe in the South or whatever. But yeah, wanted to show that. Uh, my other sign here that I showed last time. Welcome to our cinema, best entertainment in town. And I want to show if we're, if you're interested in doing your own posters, um, here's some of the things you have to have. I laid out uh, the cop gun with the power grip. Uh, a drill or you can use a screwdriver to put hinges on picture frames uh, that's the miter box in the saw and you know a tape measure of course exact uh, utility knife scissors uh, some of the posters you might have to tape in on the inside so some of them don't always or you might have to cut and trim it because even though they're supposed to be 24 by 36 sometimes you don't get exact that's not an exact thing uh, showing my door signs my closet let me turn the light on to it and show you show you um, that I'm still working on that Got to sand down that spot where I ran that electrical cable through and uh, um, sand and paint that. But I got the, the, uh, the slushy machine, the snow cone machine, and that one on the end there is a car carbonator. It takes a, a cylinder and I can carbonate, you know, uh, the snow cones or the slushy machine. Got um, different flavors from orange to cherry to lemon lime to grape. Uh, I think there's other flavors I can get. Then was just some of the bases. Got some of my poster lights turned on today. Uh, the Batman, the the, and I wanted to show uh, the Spider-Man 
uh, if I open this door, since I can, I can make Spider-Man eyes like they're light up. So I got an extra light just for his eyes. But yeah, did that. Um, you know, I will be changing some other posters, uh, probably as soon as this coming week. But I wanted to show, um, sort of what my theater screen looks like. And I'll be covering another video on how you, how I made that screen that's 167 inches, but sort of wanted to show what my screen looked like, what uh, my theater looks like, and when I'm down here relaxing looking at this at night or um, watching a movie um, it is real relaxing and uh, I really don't go to the theaters anymore I just uh, wait and buy a movie online and uh, download it and uh, watch it in my theater room. So, but if anybody's interested in building their own uh, theater room and adding posters, check out my other videos online. Um, and I hope what I'm doing will help someone who's trying to do this and they got a small budget like like I had and uh, yeah but there's uh, other videos that I could just switch to COVID-19 and the colors are really beautiful I mean that that projector that can upscale to 8k I mean the colors are really pops on some of these videos I'll be covering also how I built and added my countertop over here uh, in my display case. Let me turn the light on to it. yeah if I'm down here and want to grab a snack and that's right up I got the light to the cooler turned off I got to stock it back up but uh, I drink a lot of carbon drinks uh, even carbonated water uh, I don't too too much do them sodas anymore nope I had to get away from those but uh, I'll 
I'll have some for companies when they come over. They want a soda. I'll let them go for it. But, yeah, I want to show my posters again. How they look at night. They lit up. I think I got one of the other lights turned off to the Star Wars poster. But, uh, some of them, some of those posters will be switched out uh, probably next week. Uh, and I, I got a room in my restroom behind that door of the closet. I keep all of my extra posters. So, got some new posters that's coming in that's on order and uh, so I'll be switching some of them out and my rug here there people love that rug there uh, like I said I try to stick with everything that's dealing with a theater um, I was going to change this whole carpet into theater style carpet and I still may do that in the future but as for now I kind of want to give that theater vibe from the curtains that I picked out to the I mean the drapes that I picked out um, so So relaxing down here. So I spend a lot of time down here. I haven't been here lately though, but only when I shoot these videos. But uh, a lot of time in in the winter months. I'm found down here. So, getting ready to wrap this video up. Um, like I said, I will eventually do another video showing the measurements <coughs> on some of these posters <coughs> and what I use the base behind the posters, uh, that that brick mold that I use. I'll be showing the measurements on that and uh, I hope this video helped someone out that's trying to build a theater room and they don't have the big budgets but uh, if you like my videos subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up I sure will appreciate it and uh, see you on the next video this is JG with another home video. Peace, guys. Peace out.